Hi YouTube, Alan here. So today I'm going to be trying acetone smoothing. First of all, I'm going to need something to print. I found this little boat design on Thingiverse, and I'll put the link to the model in the description below. I print with ABS, so I want to try some acetone smoothing. And now this can be very dangerous. Uh, acetone, I have a bottle here. I got this um, at my local hardware store. I think this was about 10 bucks. We've noticed the symbols here, poisonous, and it's very flammable. So, um, the fumes that come off of this, you don't want to drown anything uh, that lets off a spark or anything like that. So you have to be very careful with this. Uh, do this in a well-ventilated area without you know, any flames. I did mine without heat. There are other videos online of people heating up the uh, container with the acetone in it. Uh, I chose to try mine without. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, but it's a little safer. Be careful if you're young, get your parents to help you out if they're gonna let you. This only works with ABS, so let's give it a go. So the video is gonna be broken up into two parts. If you wanna skip right to the smoothing, click on the link over here. Um, but if not, here's me printing my little boat.
So I got myself a little dish, the boat, and here I have a little bent paper clip that I made so it uh, won't sit right on the bottom so I can put some acetone underneath. So I'm just gonna take this boat and stick it right in the middle of this dish here. There we go. So now that I've put the boat into the dish, I'm gonna add in a couple of paper towels that I've soaked in acetone here. Now I don't wanna get the, oops. I don't wanna get it on the boat itself, just around the sides. So I'm just gonna cover this up and wait about 10 minutes and then we'll come back. So it's been 10 minutes, let's see what we got. So there doesn't look to be any change here now. So we're gonna give it a little longer, let's say 15 more minutes and come back and see what happens then. So it's been another 15 minutes, so 25 minutes overall. Let's see how we're doing. It's definitely getting shinier. I can start smelling that ABS now. So we're getting there. Uh, let's give it a little while longer. Maybe another 20 minutes and come back and check. So it's been another 20 minutes. Let's see how we're doing. So this has been a total of uh, 45 minutes um, that we've been looking at it now. Uh, it's looking pretty good, so I think that should be good for this time around. See how it turns out at the end of it all. Uh, and try to improve it next time, but it looks pretty good. It's definitely smoother than it was before. Uh, so I'll take this out now, being very delicate, uh, to not try to smudge it on anything. I'll try to pick it up from the bottom, and then I'll take some pictures afterwards so we can see how we did. So as you can see, I left the boat in the, in the uh, dish still. Um, just because I don't want to touch it until it hardens up. It takes a little while after the acetone is gone uh, for it to harden up. And so it's looking pretty good now. The hull is looking a lot smoother. Um, there's a few defects here and there, but I'll see how it looks afterwards. When it's all hardened up, I'll uh, definitely get some close-ups and show you guys how it turned out. So here's the boat after I finish smoothing it. So let it sit for a while so it'll harden up again. And as you can see, it's very, very smooth, uh, especially on the, the uh, almost vertical faces here. On the horizontal faces, you can still see striations, uh, but I think maybe next time if I sanded those down a little bit uh, or went with a smaller layer height and then, um, then smoothed it, it would look much better. But overall, this is a pretty good success for my first try and something I'll definitely be doing in the future if I want a part really nice and smooth. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put some pictures up now of the uh, after of the smoothing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them in the section down below. Thanks, bye.